Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker. And today I'm here to share you guys with what happened today. So today was the day I was meeting Erica from TLC, the Lopsided Crafter. Her channel will be linked down below at our LYS. And then we were having a lunch date and just kind of making a, a play date out of it. So it's it was a lot of fun. But unfortunately, we both forgot to pull our cameras out and take pictures. <laughs> we were totally lost in the moment having fun. And both of us forgot to take our cameras out. I didn't even get pictures of the table set up. I was like the first customer in the door and forgot to set up tables. So anyway, the whole point to going down to the LYS was today was the Mad Tosh one of a kind sale. So I got some wonderful things from that. I got a couple of things from the sale corner in the back because of course I have to go look at that and then Erica also gifted me with this big old stack of stuff too so I've got a lot of stuff to share with you guys so let's dive right on in we'll start with the Erica pile because that'll be easier to slide off off in a different area here but uh so first off she remembered I had mentioned the other day that I wish I had a couple more cakes of the Jenny's galoshes from the Lion Brand, or uh, not Lion Brand, Hobby Lobby Clearance. And this is the Sugar Wheel Cotton Sparkle. And like I shared in my Hobby Lobby haul video, it's five ounces, 142 grams, 335 yards, 97% cotton, 3% metallic polyester. And there we go. So I now have more than enough to make a sweater top with, which is what I wanted it for. If it's a little sparkly, sparkly shirt. I'm sorry, I'm realizing like I'm really, I should have put like some powder on my face before I came down here. I'm getting kind of oily now. It's like, it's now like four o'clock and I got ready to go early because I had to film my show and tell and yeah, I'm looking a little, little uh, worse for the wear now. Also, she knows I'm a huge fan of the Premier Bloom, but I've never tried the Premier Bloom Chunky, even though I have used the Serenity Chunky, which this is the same yarn base as that. But we have Snapdragon and Daisy. A while back, I made a cowl and a ear warmer out of the Serenity Chunky. And it wore so well and was so squishy soft. So I have a feeling that at least one of these colors is going to turn into one of those. Then, this is the only stuff I knew. She, well, well, let's talk about this one first. Then she added in some balls of the Flex from Loops and Thread which I didn't get any. Our store actually sold out pretty quickly on this. And by the time it went on sale, it was like, poof. But this is really pretty. This is um, 590 yards, uh, 300 grams. And this is the color Orchid. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make out of that. It is so cool. It's 79% um, acrylic, 21% polyester. I do like uh, Jennifer over at Cinnamon Stitches uh, poncho that she was doing. So now I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got plenty of it to play with, though. So I really like this. It's absolutely super cute. The creative juices are going. So these are the two things I knew she was bringing me. So she had bought this yarn, these yarns down at our LYS a while back, thinking she was going to make something with them. And then she's like, why did I do this? I'm not a sparkly person. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I am. I'm very sparkly. She's cleaning out her she shed. So this is Sitter Suki. And these are 50 gram balls. They are 40% polyester, 33% acrylic, 27% cotton, 50 grams, 120 yards. And I'm thinking this one might need to be a top or a shrug of some sort or something to just pull over like sleeveless wear. And I think these two might need to become a shawl of some sort. But they're super soft. I'm not a huge fan of like the obvious things. Like the only thing on here that you can feel texture wise that isn't soft is, is literally where the little sequins are. And those are fairly well spaced out. They're not a, well, there's a cluster where there's a bunch of them. But that's the only thing on here where there's any kind of like 
textureness, and sequins are easy to work around. So these are super pretty. These are even prettier than the pictures she sent me. And then the other thing she was clearing out of her stash, it's hilarious, but this is a paper pad from Hobby Lobby. And this is one of my all-time favorite paper pads from over there. I have it in the 6x6, the 4x6, and 12x12. But it's all kind of got that outdoor-y, retro-y kind of look to it. Some turtles. And this is one of my favorites. I love the little hedgehogs. But yeah, so there's like fire with like s'mores going. And so I just, I love this paper pad. And she's like, do you want this? And I was like, oh, I good. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah. So one of my favorite paper pads. I love the aesthetic of that. I, I've told you guys before, I love the retro. I love vintage and retro quite a bit. So really should have yeah anyway so what did I actually buy at the LYS we were such enablers and my sweet husband is an enabler too uh when I talked to him earlier he's like now remember this is kind of like gift time just buy what you want so I didn't really limit myself First off, okay, what I got from the clearance section. One was a Madeline Tosh and Whiskey Barrel. And I'm thinking that might have to be a hat for one of the dudes in the family. But that is such a pretty brown color. It's absolutely gorgeous. Then we've got this one. This is Baja Sonoma. Or Baja Sonoma. That's what it is. Baja and the color on this is Venom. And I think I have one of these from before. So I was thinking a big shawl out of this would be really, really pretty. I love the yellow speckle section here. And while they're not sharp speckles, they're those really cool ones that um, are like surface dyeing. And then, of course, this beautiful teal color. It's actually a little bit greener than it's showing up on my camera now. We're still having storms here, so I'm not getting any of my natural light from the window. We're just going on the light from the ceiling. But from here, you can see there's just a little bit more green in that. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. But yeah, I'll definitely either be pairing this with another yarn or like I said, I think I have one. And then from the one of a kind sale, I got these two. One is one of a kind and the other is Ponzi scheme. This is Ponzi scheme. This is one of a kind. And I got these to go together. And I was thinking like these just look like St. Patrick's Day. This one's reading a little bit bluer on camera than it is in person. It's in person. It reads this color, but there's so many colors in the speckled section there. I love Mad Tosh if you want to. They have some of the most beautiful bases. This is the DK and it's Superwash Merino. DK Superwash Merino, 225 yards, 100 grams. I love their one of a kind sales because they're just so much fun to go through the unique things. So these are. The DK Merino, again, this is the color Shuri, Shuri, and Ultramarine Violet. And I got these to go together. And this is a, it's like a little bit darker down here, a little bit lighter up here. It's so pretty. Erica said she's got her video uploading, so hers will probably be actually live before mine goes live. So go check out what she got. We had so much because uh, she found two that looked really good together. And then we kept pairing other things with them. So she's got a beautiful five set for a fade shawl. 
Now this one, I only got this one. I didn't pair it with anything else because I'm 99.9% .9 sure I have something in my stash that will work with this. This is the HT High Twist DK. And this one is also 100% Superwash Merino. Or this one is Superwash. And this is one of the one of a kinds. So there's just like this hair shade of baby pink mixed in with it. But I'm pretty sure I actually have a hedgehog fiber this would pair really nicely with. And I think I've got one of my knit crates would pair really nicely with this one. So I, I did buy this one to pair. This one is a one-off. Uh, it does, if I held it double, I could work it with the, excuse me, with the green set. And it would be really, really pretty. But this one is a light this is the Mad Tosh Light, and this is 420 yards. Let's see, it's super fun. It's super fun. And this is 100% Superwash Merino, once again. And this is one of a kind. But it's this gorgeous wineberry tone. And for pinks, I've really been into the hyper-saturated wineberry tones instead of just my flamingo color and the last thing i got is a sock yarn i was really good i only bought one sock yarn this is another of the one of a kinds this one is 100 grams 395 yards but how beautiful is that actually while i'm standing here Yarn Valanche, Yarn Valanche. And I guess Mrs. Crosby. I've actually got Oh, well, foo. I could have sworn I just saw this this morning. Well, that's annoying. I must have already pulled it. I actually have something in the mad light, and I think it's a hunter's green. I was going to show you how pretty that is, but for well, some reason. No, I would have a gray. This is also a one of a kind. This is from the trunk show a little while ago. Actually, if y'all y'all hold on just one second. Well, that's just plum spang annoying. I know I have a hunter's green, but these together with the hunter's green would be really pretty. So, but that's everything I got, and the sock yarn is probably going to be a shawl. It's just too pretty to wear on my feetsies. Too pretty to wear on my feetsies. So that'll probably become a shawl or a cowl or something like that. Or it'll be blended with another yarn to do a, more of a larger wearable. But yeah, you guys. It was so much fun. I mean, they had so many tables. And they had some beautiful, the cotton wool blend. And it's it's not as saturated as the wool colors. Because, you know, cotton doesn't take die quite as well so even at a 50 50 ratio you're still not getting that hyper saturation that you do with wool but it was so pretty and it almost had this like washed denim effect to it 
And there was a couple colors where it's, there was a, they called it hosta blue, I think. And then there was this beautiful, like dusky pink color. And I was like, the blue was kind of this shade. It's almost like a Tiffany's blue, kind of. They were so pretty together. So yeah, I made out like a bandit. I did really, really well controlling myself. I did put back two Hanks and decided it was uh, two of the Mad Tosh lights. So that is, well, minus that gray there. That's an old one. But that's my haul for my yarn store today. And uh, of course, my, my yarn store's owner, Elizabeth, is fantastic. So she's also an enabler. But yes, so we had an enabler party. I hope you guys go check out Erica's video and see what she got because the two sets that we put together out of the one of, kind, one of a kind tables were so pretty. And one of the things she did get was the DK version of the whiskey barrel. And that just, I think she got that one. She might've put that one back. We were good. We didn't just buy everything we loved. We set everything down on the table. We're like, okay, let's do this and these and these. We had so much fun. It's so much fun to shop with another yarny person. My husband's always like, oh, we'll just buy it all. And while that's nice, it's nice to have somebody who you can smush things together and be like, ooh, that's a set. Like, ooh, that's a set. Ooh, that's a set. I know I have something to match that. So anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm going to try to get this up tonight. We'll see how that goes because... Oh, mercy me. I love you guys. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you guys real soon. Bye guys.